Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. You gotta love uh, Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban. He seems to be a man of his word, which is um, uh, rare for a politician. And um, he's just um, providing the West with something that the West tells Hungary that's a good thing to have. And the West doesn't like it. So it's like someone telling you, hey, if you eat this product, it's very good. Look, I'm eating it, so it's very good. Then you say, yeah, okay, I don't want it. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? You have to eat it. No, no, I don't want it. You eat. You have more of the good thing you want me to have. Hungary is an independent, is an independent sovereign country. Still. <laughs> Has balls? Correct. Now what happened? Uh, you know, the European Union has a little uh, uh, interesting immigration policy and uh, it's kind of like, hey, don't protect your borders, let anyone come in, kind of thing, like, uh, okay. And Hungary said, okay, we uh, arrest uh, people who uh, come to Hungary and they, uh, you know, they do all kind, of, all kind of criminal acts, you know, dealing with, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, smugglers and uh, human trafficking and so on. So Hungary arrested these guys. But arresting them, the European Union says, well, you got too many arrested. Uh, and then they say, well, your uh, prisons are too crowded. And they say, well, what are you going to do with those guys? Well, Orban releases them. Orban releases these prisoners, the smugglers, uh, about 1,400 of them and sends them, uh, I think, to the West. He says, you got to leave uh, this country in, I don't know, gives them a, a deadline. Let's see this little article coming from the Telegraph. It's unbelievable. You got to love this guy. He said, yeah, you like these guys? You have them. No, no, no. The European Union is like, what? Well, if you like them, take them. What do you want me to do? You can't send them back. What do you want? You want us to integrate them? Uh, yes. <laughs> you anyway let's go and see what Orban uh, did the telegraph this is from today August 23rd 2023 Hungary frees 1400 convicted people smugglers in protest over EU border policy this is one article all right this is another one which comes from Al Jazeera probably the same thing Hungary frees more than 1400 foreign 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 convicts angering the EU and uh, let's uh, remember, write this, this one, this is from May 31st, 2023. Hungary frees 777 foreigners convicted of people smuggling. So they're doing the same thing again. So Hungary has in recent weeks freed or foreigners, mostly Serbian, Ukrainian and Romanian nationals convicted of human trafficking. The Directorate of Prison said on Wednesday in a reply to Reuters' questions. Wow, wow, wow. So he made a decree in April allowing the release of foreign nationals convicted of people smuggling on condition that they leave Hungary within 72 hours once freed. This was in May. Okay. All right, Reuters, you want money? You're not going to have my money. You don't deserve it. Okay. They want this. I'm going to go back to these guys. They don't want my money because I bypassed them. I'm going through... Microsoft, whatever. So here you have him, and the conditions are the same. Obviously, look at this picture. He's looked like a, you know, because that's what they, that's how they want to portray him. Hungary has released more than 1,400 convicted people smugglers from prisons. Authorities said on Wednesday, a move which the European Commission is challenging. <laughs> Why well, you can have them? Last month, the European Commission launched a legal procedure against Hungary after Prime Minister. Viktor Orban's government in April decided to release jailed people right here, correct? Uh, smugglers and gave them three days to leave the country. What's wrong with that, my friends? You can have them. Why is that a good thing for me, but it's not good a, th a good thing for you? But you push me to have that little good thing. No, you have it. You, want, you like ice cream? You have it. I don't like it. Oh, you, have, you gotta like it. No, I don't. You can have more, see? <laughs> Always with these hypocrites. Have them walk the walk, okay? Uh, do what the hell, or what, walk the talk, whatever. Do what they're supposed to. Not to uh, talk and don't do anything. 
The same with this guy. Oh, let, let immigrants come as many as they want. I'm not talking about the ones who stay in line. I'm talking about the ones who cross the border and come illegally. Let them come in. Okay, why don't you take about five families? No, we're going to get some five families for 10 years. You're going to take care of them. Not me. Let's say I don't want those guys who cross the border like that. All right? You have them. You promote that, you have them. So activate, don't tell me I pay taxes. I pay too, but I disagree with that. No, 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 no don't pay taxes. Let's say we tax only you extra, about $1,000 a, a month. Only you, you. You will realize in a second, no, 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 no. They will be against it just like this. Why? Because it directly, straight in their face, hurt them. So let's go back to these guys here. Actually, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this. So Hungary said at, at the time that is overcrowded jails were holding 2,600 people from 73 countries, 13% of the prison population at great cost to the taxpayers. Fact, fact, and I'm quoting, we have released 1,468 detainees of foreign nationality who have been convicted of smuggling of human beings, the National Command of Penitentiary Services Toll Agency France Press. Mr. Orban, Orban has accused Brussels of pushing forward laws, he says, encar encourage migration. And not legal migration, mind you. It's controlled migration. No, not controlled. Why do you want to get uh, people that you can't vet them come in your country? Uh, and I will, um, I will make a reference to uh, that movie called Scarface with Al Pacino, if you remember the movie. When the Cubans released uh, their prisoners and many others, I have an article ready for you. Remember that movie, uh, Scarface was based on uh, Al Pacino, Tony Montana being released by the Cuban government, by Fidel Castro, shipped, they got on boats and they said, you want them? Get them. So they got to the United States of America and they created a big crisis here. Why? You want them? Take them. Oh, well, those are your citizens. Well, you don't know who's coming in. And then at the beginning of the of the movie, if you remember, Al Pacino is uh, interrogated or interviewed by whomever uh, authorities in the United States of America. And he can make up what the hell he wants about his past. Why? How are you going to verify? Go to Cuba, get their what? Documents? The same here. If someone comes from, let's say, uh, Zimbabwe, and he says, well, I was a this, I, was, I did this, I'm all clean. How can you verify that? You're going to go in the Zimbabwean databases of uh, uh, the government to find out this guy? Really? Come on, you got to be kidding me. So you're going to, you have to catch the guy in a lie. If he's going to tell you, well, I was an engineer. Okay, solve this problem. Uh, you know, so that's why these guys can say whatever they want. You try to figure out who they are with interviews, interrogation. But they say, well, I, I'm good. I'm a good person. I have nothing, and he's a, whatever, 15 years uh, convicted criminal. You don't know that. So, it says, Hungary's, and I'm quoting, Hungary had to take this decision on people smugglers because Brussels does not contribute to the cost of border protection, but punishes Hungary when prisoners are o prisons are overcrowded. Deputy Interior Minister Benz uh, Rat Retvani has said. So he says, they want us to get them. They don't help us protect our borders. And then they say, well, wait a minute. Uh, your uh, prisons are too crowded. What do you want me to do? Integrate them. That's the point. I don't want to integrate them. How about that? I don't know who they are. I don't know who, who they are. I have no control on figuring things out. The EU executive says that no systems have been put in place to monitor whether the people smugglers uh, serve the rest of their sentences in their homelands. They will not. Austria, in particular, has been engaged, uh, in gay, uh, angered by its neighbor's decision, why <laughs> close, and has tightened controls on its border. Hungary has two months to explain how it intends to address Brussels concerns, I'm concerned, over the commission could uh, or the commission could draw up a case against Budapest. So they are going to sue them for not doing e eating the ice cream these guys want them to eat. Why don't you send about I don't know, five families to uh, Van der Leyen, uh, von der Leyen's uh, house or Borel's house? And yeah, they can take care. Live with them every day. Not stay somewhere and they live. They stay in a Hilton hotel. Hotel, not like that. Hungary has two months to explain. Deadline. 
Mr. Orban frequently clashes with the blah blah blah. In June, the court pop 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 is the same. So they give them a deadline. Get the hell out. Uh, um, you have this amount of time. So let me show you now another article. Since we are uh, at it, we're going to go to this one. This is from Independent. And this is from uh, 28th of August 1994, my friends. Criminals, and I'm quoting, in Exodus from Cuba. U.S. fears Castro emptying his jails into Florida. Remember, these guys are going to use uh, certain kind of terms that right now are unacceptable just to see how semantics and how we're supposed to change our vocabulary based on some people. They decide you cannot use that word again. Why? Because they say so, but you're not in charge of my vocabulary. But I'm going to show you in this article. The United States believes Cuba has started to release prisoners from its jails and suspects that President Fidel Castro is about to send them to join the boat people leaving the island for Florida. Look, listen to this. The, uh, this would immediately escalate the confrontation between Washington and Havana during the last exodus of Cubans in 1980. This is the Scarface movie. Mr. Castro, I think that's the one, created a crisis for the White House by sending, brace yourselves, sending criminals, drug addicts, and mentally, this is the word that we can't say anymore, people to the US. That's the, okay? So, in 1980, right here, his own political career was almost ended when 18,000 Cuban boat people, mostly from prisons, rioted at the US military base Fort Shafi, I'm guessing, in Arkansas. All right, the US uh, Coast Guard has not so far reported that newly released criminals are among the 17,000, blah, blah, blah. So, um, you want to go here again? We're going to get sent 120,000 Cubans to the US. So, in 14 years, he sent 125,000. You like them? You have them. But it's different here, okay? In, in, in what uh, Castro did, because he sent his own, he sent his own, but actually he didn't send them, hey, you got to go. I, I don't know if that was the case. I'm not going to, but uh, he released them from prison and probably said, well, you got 24 hours. Who wants to leave for United States? Go. Broom. No, no, you keep them over there. You, you got to, we love them, but keep them over there. The same with these guys. We love immigrants, but keep them, not immigrants, people who break the law entering unauthorized a country that is entering your house someone and uh, saying hey Gigi where is my bedroom where is the refrigerator where is the toilet that's all I need but TV give me the remote control and you are still here go to work bring me some food I like uh, steak I like uh, I don't know Merlot and so on yeah this this uh, you're supposed to say, yeah, 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 yeah. And people from outside your home says, yes, yes, let them come in. Or your people in the family says, hey, you know what? Let them come in. No, I'm going to get him in. If it's already in, I'm going to send it and sleep with you in your freaking bedroom. And you're going to provide for them. Oh, no, 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 daddy. You go and work and bring the money. So Orban is, you know, you like them, you have them. Now, these are smugglers and uh, whatever they are over there, you know, traffickers. But uh, the situation is, he knows how to play them, Orban, and he has the courage to do that. And he, he didn't say go to the West, he just says, leave the country, go home. No? And uh, what do you think they will do? Do you think they will go towards Russia, or do you think they're going to go towards Berlin and Paris? And, I don't know, Bern, Bern uh, or what, uh, Vienna? Anyway, my friends, um, I like I like laws as long as they're just, and I like all of us to obey the laws, and I want all of us to have a say in the laws. So um, I don't like this kind of things, you know. Um, I want you to do that, but I wouldn't do it. What is that, you know? No. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.